Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to another video. In this one, we are going to learn how to add multiple pricing for multiple categories in WP Travel. WP Travel Pro comes up with multiple pricing options from which you can add different prices for different categories. To add multiple prices for categories during setting price for your trip, you have to activate WP Travel Pro plugin. Now, somehow if you don't have an active subscription of WP Travel Pro plugin, I strongly suggest you to watch one of our previous video where we explained a step-by-step -step guide on how to add WP Travel Pro plugin. And also you can head over our link in the the description below which will also help you to know about all the information about WP Travel Pro plugin and all of its features. So without a further ado let's get to our topic and jump right into it. So to set up multiple prices for multiple categories in the trip please follow this step by step guide which will explain everything you need to know about how to add multiple prices for multiple categories. So firstly what you are going to be doing is you need to add pricing category like child, adult, infant and whatsoever you would like to add in the category by going to admin panel and trips and pricing category. So once you are here you can see the add new pricing category option and under that you have your name field where you can name your category and a slug so what basically a slug is you actually don't need to worry about this you can name it exactly the same what you named your category but let me tell you it's basically a user-friendly url which basically tells our customers or our users that what this exact category basically is so just a general idea which will help our users at some extent. So below that you have parent pricing category. From here you can select the parent pricing category. For example, um, if you add a category of child, you can add a parent pricing category of parent. So yeah. And last but not least, you have your description field. Here you can add a short little description describing your category and what exactly is it offering. For example, you can type in here a special price offer for couple, etc. And finally, when you are done with adding all of the information, you can click on this add new pricing category. And right next to the list, you can see our category added into the list. So pretty great, right? So that's it from the pricing category tab. Next, what you need to do is just head over to the admin panel and trips and individual trips and prices and dates. And under the prices tab, you can see a select pricing option in here. And from the drop down menu, you have to select multiple pricing, which will enable you to see the add price option. When you click on add price option, you will see some fields popping up where you need to add information regarding your price. So you can name your price and adjust the min and max packs and below if you see you have the option to add category. So this is where from you can access your categories and when you click on category, you can see some options popping up. So here you can actually add the already added categories. If you click on this drop down menu, you can see all the categories which we've added earlier. So I added couple, but I also added infant and kids uh, off camera and they are being displayed here nicely so you can select any for example if i do kids yeah, it is set on kids and you can add a particular price related to it for example i'll set it to 1500 and yeah so you can also set a default packs if you want so so i'm going to leave it as it is so allow me to add some more categories and after that we will head over to our user front end page and see how's it looking so now that we are done with adding the price categories, you can see I've added kids, adults, couple and infant. Let's just quickly save our changes and head over to our users front end page and see what we've added so far. So in the front end page, if you head over to the booking tab and under the booking tab, you can see the prices and the categories being nicely displayed. So if you click on this checkbox, 
you will be able to see uh, all of the categories that we've added. So kids, adults, couple, and infant with their related prices. You can also increase the uh, number of packs from here and it is working perfectly. So you can see when you increase the values, the price is increasing relatively. So pretty great. So when you click on book now, um, it will take you to the checkout page where if you click on this little edit button, you can see you can also edit the number of packs from this section also. So this is really handy and really great for our users and make it really stand out. So I hope that clears pretty much everything and I hope you liked the video and if you did so make sure to subscribe and like the video and until next time peace.